this class we discuss about projection welding projection welding is a modified form of spot welding projection welding is an electric resistance welding process that uses small projections in one or both components of the weld to localize the heat and pressure in this process localization of heat between ends are affected by projections the metal surfaces to be joined have projections in which the current is passed welding takes place only at these joints so this is the arrangement of projection welding it consists of two electrodes this is a work piece this is small projections the electrodes are connected to a step down transformer to get a high current and low voltage and step down transformer is energized by ac supply this is a joint made by projection welding now we'll see the process of projection welding number 1 the machines are basically flat platens with t slots and the electrodes are connected to the output of the step down transformer number 2 in this method protrusions protrusions mean something that bulges out are pressed on one of the sheets to be welded and the exact location of the weld is determined number 3 sheet metal is first put through a punch that makes small projections or buttons in the metal number 4 the projections are made with a diameter on the face equal to the thickness of the stock and extend the stock about 60 percentage of its thickness such a projection spots are made at all points where a weld is desired number 5 when current is passed in the electrode and the pressure is applied the projection collapses and the sheets are welded together the projections are flattened during the welding now we'll see the advantages disadvantages and applications of projection welding number 1 filler metals are not used number 2 number of wells are made simultaneously number 3 welding current and the pressure required is less number 4 it is well suited for automation these are all the advantages disadvantages are number 1 equipment cost is very high number 2 it is not suitable for thin sheets applications are number 1 a very common use of projection welding is the use of special nuts that have projections on the portion of the part to be welded to the assembly number 2 this welding is used for steel radiator coupling elements brake shoes tin plate tack handles etc number 3 this process is used for cross wire welding this class we discuss about seam welding seam means joint consisting of a line formed by joining two pieces spot welding are spaced so closely that they overlap each other giving rise to seam welding seam welding is similar to the spot welding with the difference that the electrodes are in the form of rollers this is used for joining two metal sheets and to end in a continuous line this is the arrangement of seam welding this arrangement consists of two electrodes and two rollers and a step down transformer the work pieces are overlapped and placed in between the rollers one roller rotate in clockwise direction another roller rotate in anti clockwise direction these two are electrodes the electrodes are connected to a step down transformer to get a high current and low voltage the step down transformer is energized by an ac source now we'll see the process of seam welding number 1 to obtain sound weld the work pieces to be joined or cleaned to remove dirt grease and other oxides either chemically or mechanically 
Number two, the welding electrodes are motor driven wheels as opposed to stationary rods. Number three, the work pieces are overlapped and placed firmly between two wheel shaped copper alloy electrodes which in turn are connected to a secondary circuit of a step down transformer. Number four, the electrode wheels are driven mechanically in opposite directions with the work pieces passing between them while at the same time the pressure on the joint is maintained. Number five, welding current is passed in series of pulses at proper intervals through the bearing of the roller wheels. Number six, as the current passes through the electrodes to the workpiece, heat is generated in the air gap at the point of contact or spot of the two work pieces. Number seven, it is desirable to have intermittent flow of current to prevent overheating, which may occur resulting in burning of the sheets. Number eight, under the pressure of continuously rotating electrodes and the current flowing through them, a series of overlapping spot wells are made progressively along the joint. Number nine, the number of spots per centimeter varies between two and four. Such a weld is normally gas and liquid type. Number ten, the weld area is flooded with water to keep the electrode wheels cool during welding. This is the process of seam welding. Now we see the advantages, disadvantages and applications of seam welding. Advantages are number one, filler metals are not required. Number two, the production of single seam weld and the parallel seams can be obtained simultaneously. Number three, gas tight and liquid tight joints can be made. Disadvantages are number one, it requires complex control system to regulate the travel speed of electrodes. Number two, the welding process is restricted to a straight line or uniformly curved line. Number three, equipment cost is very high. Applications are Number one, extremely useful for fabricating all types of exhaust system, barrels, etc. Number two, this process can produce continuous pressure tight seams at, way at high speeds. Number three, it is used for making oil transformer tanks, refrigerators, evaporators, varnish containers, etc. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.